so far i've never been involved in, or in, in any virtualizing or active platform but this was the first opportunity and thanks for that i mean we have a lot of uh, oltp databases running on physical machine and the takeaway from this seminar is to to go go and do some proof of concept and prove that this platform can can save money and same same benefit to the customer so that will be my takeaway from this seminar Derek. yes i i i i I have been involved with VMware a few years ago, but not in so deep. Like they, I, I learned quite a lot, all the feature-wise, what you can do is uh, you know help uh, virtualize you know uh, all the Oracle uh, database environment. And uh, actually, we have uh, we recently um, inherited some legacy system, actually 200 plus database from CSC. I'm thinking how we apply that the knowledge I just learned this two days workshop, try to you know really uh, consolidate them. Instead of all separate servers, all the legacy system put in, you know, just on all uh, Linux system and uh, make it easy for us to manage. Again, for number one, different bottom line. There's all the, you know, business, uh, you know, just striving for, right? Try to cut cost, you know, how, uh, for their point of view. And for, from DBA point of view, I just, how to make my life easier. I want to try to, instead of managing all separate, like 100 servers in three, four different data centers, I want to try to consolidate them, make it two, three servers in one place, and they're easy to manage. Also, even definitely will cut the footprint in the data center, save money for company too. So I think it is two uh, very important reasons, you know, will make, uh, you know, make me go into to go take next step, you know. Well, virtualization means to me that easy provision of any, any, any application, how easy you can provision on, on a hardware and how easy you can tolerate the fault from one machine to another machine, that's all virtualization means. I mean, providing the HA functionality and fault tolerant func functionality on VMware product, that's a good, good, good way to go. And uh, the whole virtualization platform, on, especially for Oracle Rack, is going to bring the cost down and easy, easy to maintain and easy to manage. Specific feature in terms of, uh, you know, Auto deployment of the rack, which you don't have to do that. You know, DBA has to go through the rigorous practice and follow the different guidelines to build the cluster from the scratch. That has been simplified in this VMware course. You know, the auto deployment of the rack cluster, cloning, easy cloning, and easy addition of the node, easy deletion of the nodes. Those are the few features you know which was missing from any any standard uh, virtualization platform that has been simplified in this this course. So I think that's a good feature to go. The one thing I would like to add is in, in virtualization world, you know. We, we, we have a server, we have a best practice developed around it to build the virtualization platform. Why can't we go one step ahead and bring some kind of appliance model to it and say that this is the virtual box, just power it on and carve it up and then you can use easy to go away. You can deploy your different application, you can deploy your different database. It's a one box, you don't have to configure any network, you don't have to bring any storage, it's all built in one box like an appliance vault and just go at it. So that will be the one good step forward for these solutions to provide you know the good feature and good good product to the another customer. Derek, for me, I would say uh, two things stand out. One is Wii Motion. Definitely, is, uh, I saw all the demo how they from a three you know host can do uh, simultaneous dynamic swap. It's just amazing you know without any zero almost downtime. Another thing is I like it. There's uh, um, what, what they call the, uh, distribute uh, uh, scheduler. How to say? Uh, DR, DRS, DRS yeah. that's uh, very good too because that's really, um, I think uh, you, you must have it, try to manage like uh, such, such a disparate system, some may be using only 10% CPU or some is using 90% then if you put this all together in virtual environment, then we always can uh, let the software automatically manage its workload. This make uh, our lives so much easier. Even would, system guys life easier too. I would like to add one more point that you know I have worked on two data center consolidation and it's very difficult to evacuate the data center from mm. one location to another location. So if mm. you think about the virtualization as one platform, mm. it's so easy to move your application and database across the data center right. using the V motion or all the technology which presented in two days, right. and that can make our life so simple. You don't right. have to plan for so much thing. Mm. Just build the inf infrastructure in place and you start moving your start things moving here stuff. on yep. one place yeah, to exactly. another place. That's a good thing to go. From those uh, P2V, those uh, right. migration, it's right. like, it would be perfect, yeah. Well, there's a lot of feature, you know. I'm really looking out for the InfiniBand connectivity on, on VMware infrastructure as well as the 40 gig networking speed. 
And on top of that, you know, as you mentioned, that IP v6 is supported in the next release. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that's a cool, cool yeah. feature. You know, cool, yeah. cool thing to go about it on the networking side. Yeah, I'm, I'm today lecture. I think uh, I asked that the band two, you know, the, for the the VM uh, snapshot, the backup. I'm, I'm really uh, into. I, as they're looking for uh, for the next release, they have those uh, like I can take one maybe full backup, then do incremental backup, whatever I want, and right. it's either incremental then merge them, make one copy. So. That's what, uh, what I'm really looking because this one of the client asked for this feature from that. Uh, we have VMware deploy, but they want this happen. You know. Well, I, I only advice is you know be open minded, try to do some POC and convince yourself. And if you think that it can be, bring some value to the customer, you know please please you know share the result with customer and share the progress you have made. And I think this is the great way to go about Absolutely. it. Absolutely, just uh, you know. Create your own, you maybe on laptop or something. Just some, in the lab, build some, you know, POC, just like a you know, to prove to yourself. You have really hands-on to convince yourself instead of, you know, just reading or just <laughs> and, and anything. Just, you have to do hands-on and convince you. You can you can do this. It's not that hard. So people, like some DBM maybe don't have system background. They kind of a little bit, you know, they don't know. <laughs> Is this a technically challenging or not? They don't know. But you know, once they follow the old talk, maybe they, they will get convinced. You know, it's not that hard.